There is no private. There is no paid. Unless you're nefarious and you're a paralegal and you and you work in the system and you had access to it. And my suspicion is this paralegal is a member of Web Sleuths. Can I prove it? No. It's what I suspect. And I'm going to get to that. Kudos to Colorado for taking a stand against these people who do this, who behave without integrity in these true crime communities and pull this bullshit. I've been talking about this kind of stuff for 18 months, and I've never had any respect for web sleuths, never have had any respect for them. They have all kinds of crazy dictatorial rules, right? And they're so highfalutin, and they're so pretentious, and they think they're so much better than they are. They really do. They think they're all a bunch of Sherlock Holmes, right? And they, no doubt wanted to be the first to have this affidavit, right? They wanted to be the first to have it. They wanted to make a name for themselves. No consideration for Landon. None at all. No consideration for Gannon's parents. And whether they had had a chance to review the affidavit yet before these scumbags threw it to the wolf, to the hungry, the hungry, ravenous public, right? So now this guy is PO'd at me today because I've been saying in my group, I knew it. I had a feeling that this had something to do with web sleuths. So this guy is now in his group, this mass guy. He's now in his group saying, well, Kay's brain has clearly been damaged by the exorbitant. I can't believe he could came up with that word. Amounts of wine she drinks daily by the gallon as if he knows me. I hope she recycles. But this Dude, couldn't be bothered to go to the public Colorado website and see that it indeed had not been unsealed? (laughs) I'm not believing that. I'm not believing he didn't know that it wasn't uh, unsealed. And I'm not believing that he just imagined that Gannon's parents had already seen it. I'm not going to repeat myself. I'm not going to go into it again. I already had a Kraken rant about it. I'm not going to go into it again. So, VP, no. I have not talked to Trisha. I don't know her. Oh, VP, are you saying uh, Trisha as in uh, Web Sleuths? Well, the comment is still up there. The comment calling me a drunk and insinuating that I'm a horrible mother. Still up there. Megan M., I'm going to assume that maybe Trisha runs Web Sleuth. Well, VP, uh, here's what I'll say. If Trisha is a decent person and has integrity, she will look into what I've shown tonight, the evidence that I have shown tonight, that this leak of the arrest affidavit was initially shared with Mass Guy on Web Sleuths, and that Web Sleuths is actually named in the state. Well, they're not named, but the statement from the 4th Judicial District Attorney's Office says quite plainly that the affidavit, what they're saying is that this Sherry, knowing, she knowingly, knowingly put released the affidavit She logged into some database, released it, knowing that it had not been made public, and not knowing if Gannon's parents had seen it, and released it to an online website that tracks crimes. And I don't think I need to re-show all of my proof, but I think I've done a damn good job showing that it most likely was web sleuths, and it most likely was mask guy because he admitted to it on the second and now they're trying to backpedal and come up with all of these other reasons and excuses so so vp is is web sleuths completely unmoderated are there no mods right thank you julie she needs better moderators then okay so the wrench is wrong Tammy, where did you see this person? Yeah, where did you see them doing this? 
Oh, so VP, what she's saying is, is y'all were shit talking me on your new little YouTube channel, right? You guys have decided you're going to start getting into doing the whole YouTube thing too, right? My suggestion would be to get your house in order. Get your house in order. Stop personally attacking other creators or letting people personally attack other creators and make sure you don't have people in that group that are breaking the law and releasing sealed affidavits. Hold on. I just want to see this. BP, so it was on her live show, and you listened to it. BP, can you um, send me a text ex- saying exactly what was said, and then we can talk about that, okay? If you heard it, then we can talk about it. Okay, let me. I, I want to address that, too. Somebody is... I'm not even say who it is, is on the their YouTube saying that a web sleuth member leaked it. Okay. Big difference than saying web sleuth leaked it. Okay. Big difference. I can't control if if that's true, I can't control what our members do. Okay? I, I don't. I don't control. So uh yeah. Yeah, um we've had a couple of times where Members have have made the news, and I get <laughs> I get blamed for that. And I'm like, what? I don't even know these people's real names, who they are, you know. And they they make the news, nothing to do with websites at all, just something they did. And somehow they we found out they were members. Okay. So if the uh, person who is the leaker, is a member of WebSleuths. Now what? Now what do we do? Nothing. Oh, that's an idea. <laughs> I just, okay. So, I, it just makes me crazy. Absolutely crazy. Well, yeah, I guess, I guess what she is, I guess what this person is saying is that uh, a member of Web Sleuths leaked the affidavit. Okay? Okay. If that's, I mean, I don't know. Yeah, HR, that has happened. When when it's found out that people um, are a member of Web Sleuths and somehow they make the news, then I get, yeah. Yeah, we have, last I checked... What was it? Close to 100, maybe it's over 140,000 members now. Yeah, EDB, that's what I have uh, heard too. EDB says, I saw the affidavit affidavit in a true crime forum, true crime Facebook group on the night it must have been leaked. Exactly. Uh, I, it was everywhere, you know, and if it was a member of Web Sleuths, so be it. Maybe she's a member of Facebook, too. Affidavit. Oh, I have no idea. I, again, a lot of people had the affidavit. It didn't have anything didn't have anything to do with Web Sleuths. Like I said, I didn't even know that was leaked. I'm running around going, oh, okay, there's an affidavit. Yeah, they were going to release that. That's all I thought about it. I have no clue. Um, Steve Gumby, don't even worry about it. Really, I, I'm serious. I swear. Um, just the only reason I'm talking about it is because I have received uh, messages and there have been posts on web sleuths, and I did want to address it. So, you know, the yeah, affidavit. Um, what uh, Alexis are? What I understand about the affidavit was that according just according to the newspaper. I call it newspaper. It's a news website, but I'm an old bat. Give me a break. According to media reports, uh, it, this this woman who's paralegal in an office leaked the affidavit online, and a lot of people had it. Um, I think Mommy Rambling's blog had it on April 2nd, like at night, and then Gray Hughes Investigates got it first thing April 3rd. Everybody had it. Now, I, it was not posted on WebSleuths. Um, I don't know if, if people were posting from it 
and posting on websites? I don't, I don't know. There are thousands and thousands and thousands of posts about Gannon on websites. So, and the, the, you know, day to day kind of micromanaging thing where I, I can go in and read every post and see exactly what's going on. I, I, I can't do that anymore. So, you know, when you have a lot of people that are a member of your group, they do stuff. And sometimes it makes the news. I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, deals. The affidavit did spread spread like wildfire. Uh, Maria Frey, don't even give it a second thought. Okay, we're not going to um, we're not going to trash uh, other podcasters here. So everybody has a right to podcast. Move on. Absolutely. <laughs> 